Good morning, it's Rachel here and we are going to work on putting in the pages into these journals as I promised I would when I showed you the page selections. So I've gone ahead and glued the fabrics where I need to glue the fabrics and we'll go through that when I look at each journal. Um, so this is an antique piece of mattress ticking. I think it's French. And I've glued that to this spine. Remember, I left this one, you might not remember, but I left this one blank because I'm going to stitch my signatures into here and then glue this over the top. So um, what I need to do with this one, so the signatures are going to be stitched into here. So what I need, I'm going to do all my measuring first and then I do my stitching. So let me see, I'd like to use my centimetres. So it's four centimetre or a one and a half inch spine. And I'm just going to, I can actually just, well, I should draw very lightly because you'll be able to see it actually through that fabric. So um, I've measured halfway there and I need to measure halfway here. It's 23 centimetres. So half 23 is 11 and a half. So I'm just going to put my dot there. And I like to flip it over because I like to do this in inches. Don't ask me why, but I do. Um, and I'm going to do two and a half inches top and bottom there and then I'm going to go half an inch on either side more or less I don't ever get anything you know perfectly done but so that's where I'm going to punch my holes and if I had a thicker fabric so I would um, draw lines but I don't so there and then half an inch there and there okay now i'll punch the holes in a second in that one i need to get my signatures here keeping them in the order that i want them i'm going to pull out my book binding box i find very handy to keep everything in that put that over there I've got this is a Japanese um, screw punch I quite like this for doing the hole sometimes when it's very really thick I also need to pull out the book all and finish off the hole holes with that I just use this little mat here and I need to measure first here so in here I've got these big paper clips I think I bought them on Amazon but I can't remember and I like the big long paper clips because they catch any pages that are shorter because if we don't have all our pages the same height um, then we we um, need a paper clip that's going to catch them all so I'm finding the center of my signature and of course um, I'm pretty sure all my pages are um, the right way up but if you're any in any doubt check so slide that one on each side. Okay, and then I'm going to measure and find my center. It's about nine inches, so that's easy, four and a half. And then I need to do my two and a half. And two and a half there. And I'm going to punch my holes. It just this just does a nice um, a nice neat hole that's all all it is um, but if you so this is my first signature so I'm that's the front I'm going to put it down like that so then when I put this one on top I will put it down on top like this so I don't know if you can see that but um, yeah I just put them down in a way that I can remember which is top and bottom And they might not all, well, that one's the same. They, I was going to say they might not all be exactly the same height, just as long you won't have, shouldn't have too many issues as long as you find the center in each one. Okay. Is that two and a half? Yes. Okay. So that's the front, that's the back. Put it on top of the 
top signature, the first signature. So I get them in the right order. Then this is in the center here. So this is what I mean by having a nice big paper clip that catches all the pages and holds them in place. Okay, so let's find the center again. Oh, not too bad. If it's a little bit more, I just sort of eyeball it and try and make it similar top and bottom. I don't I don't worry too much if my things are exactly perfect. I probably should worry about it, but I don't. Yep, that one went through. I don't have an exaggerated really large, you know, I don't have 10 pages. That's okay. This goes through quite well. 10 pages. Um, if it were thicker, then sometimes, as I said, I need to bring in my book all. So then I've got my holes here. Then I'll check that it's gone the right through. You can probably see I can't. I'm sorry about the noise. Turn the volume down if you don't like it. I probably would normally stand up and do this so I can see better. They're probably all crooked, but I'll just wing it. So I just want to show you the different ways I'm going to bind all the... And yes, I can see light all the way through those. And look how neat the holes are. Now, because this is going to be quite transparent, um, I need to use a lighter coloured thread. I did purchase some more. Is that the same as that one? I bought some new ones because um, it's more like that one. I was starting to get low. And just buy them on Amazon. They're just wax threads. No, they're a bit different. I'll use that one. Oh, actually, I have a white one. There white one. Maybe I'll use this colour. So that way it would it won't be too obvious. No. Or will I use one that's similar colour to that? Maybe I should use that one. I use that one. Let's use the grey one. Oh, let's make sure we get the book up the right way. So I'm going to start with my bottom signature, which I have on top of my pile. I need to thread my needle. A nice blunt needle is good. Um, in some, If you buy the book binding kit, they give you sharp needles because I think they're meant for going through leather. But the sharp needles, when you come up, when you're doing the pamphlet stitch, um, you can split. You can go in through your, the middle of your thread. And then you split it and you and you weaken the integrity of the thread. So we have woken up to snow this morning. Um, so I couldn't um, drive Lulu to school because um, I don't have snow tyres, but Steffi does, but he'd gone up to work. It took him over an hour to get up to work. It usually takes him 20, 25 minutes. Um, and so anyway, she was all in a panic because she's missed quite a bit of school, obviously, with us going to Australia. And then she was sick for a week. So um, anyway, my father-in-law came and picked her up and her friend because her friend's parents were at work. And um, and he took them to school because he um, they've got snow tyres. And, and also, you know what? I'm Australian. I don't drive in the snow. It's just not my... I don't know. I, I hyperventilate and don't know how to do it. And uh, so, no. No driving in the snow for me. Now, is that... That's... Well, it's all right. It's the fabric that's not straight. Okay. Yes, so um, it is a very pretty 
Winter Wonderland outside. And I had to walk to the post office. <laughs> And I didn't. I don't have any snowshoes because I had some really old ones. But when we um, were cleaning up and moving out for our Renault, reno, um, I did turf them. And so, and it hardly ever snows anyway. Well, not that amount of snow. And so, I didn't think I needed them. <laughs> Silly me. Uh, I do live in Italy. I probably do need them. But the, last year it hardly snowed at all. Like we had one day, and it was wet, slushy snow, and it was gone by the afternoon, sort of thing. So. Um, today it really did dump a lot last night but I think the sun's meant to come out later so I think it'll all melt I don't think it'll hang around a little little snowflakes are dropping down now I don't know what time it is probably toward nearly it's probably actually after 11 um, Now the nice thing about the wax thread too is like when you tie a knot, it stays. It doesn't um, move. You can see it's not hard. Oh, it is hard. I've just stitched that. What did I say? I've just stitched that one in upside down. Lucky I realized because if I'd put the other one in, you girls didn't tell me. Or you guys, I should say. Nobody told me. What's with that? I'm sure you're all screaming at the screen. It's not a, it's no biggie because I realized it. So we'll just take it out. There we go. Done. Turn it around the right way and put it in the correct direction, Rachel. That would be useful. So I was too busy thinking about the snow. I did do a snow dance last night and it worked. We did go out and have a quick pizza with my in laws at our favourite place. And when we came out of the restaurant, it was snowing. It was kind of um, big, sloppy snowflakes. Um, and so my husband's like, oh, no, that's not going to do anything. That'll be gone by tomorrow. Um, you know, it won't stick. And then, and then what do we know? Woke up and it must have continued all night. Gotta get back in there. Okay, good. Problem solved. Now you will be noticing anyone who's new, those who know me know that I do this. I don't cut my thread. There's no need to cut your thread. Like people say, measure um, double the height of your spine. Um, but I feel like it's not necessary to measure. There's no risk of me using a shorter thread. Are you kidding me? I've done it again. No. I have. You're joking. No, my pages are upside. Oh, I had it in the right way. They print it upside down. Oh my goodness. See, this is a disaster. Now that's a waste of thread. Talk about wasting thread. That's a waste. Put my clips back on. I mean, honestly, guys, it's never, never smooth sailing. I can tell you that. Anyone who says it's always smooth sailing, sailing, I don't believe you. Oh, goodness gracious. Third time lucky. Third time lucky. Now I've lost my pin, my needle. It's not a pin, it's a needle, Rachel. I've lost it. Can anyone see it? Did I throw it in the rubbish? No, it's my favourite needle. Please come back to the needle. Where have you gone? Oh dear. So now this is still, this is upside down. So I need to, I need to, I need to get a grip and figure this out because I'm going to stitch it in upside down again. They're all upside down. So I've got that paper up. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to have to go through this. So that, this is not good too because I'm going to have to realign all my holes. That one was upside down. Is it just that one that was upside down causing me grief? It was. What a goose. Now I've got to find the holes and I can't find my needle. There it is. It's under the book. See if I can realign these, yes. Come on. 
realign. There we go. Okay. Talk about confusion. So now that would be the correct direction. Yes, we can do it. Yes, we can. Good thing I've got a lot of thread. It's not expensive, so I'm not stressed about that. This thread is not expensive. Now I'm going to struggle a little bit because all my I had to move that one piece. Okay. Yep. No longer aligned. Got it. And then you come up on either side of the middle here. I do get quite sore hands because this kind of cuts into your hands because you're pulling it tight and it does kind of cut into your hands. And of course, I've done this one three times. That doesn't help. Okay, snip it off. Now let's just double check how we're going. Yes, that's better. So I had it right. I had to take it out because that one was upside down. What a goose. There we go. Now it's the correct way up. Next. Now let me just double check these. So I haven't done anything weird. Okay. Put that there, get my needle. So this is really um, stitching in your pages. But it won't just be that because we've got a few, a couple of different ways, methods. So we'll, I'll show you the other method. I like these holes too because they're neat and they are big. Then they're probably, and I can just pull that and not waste so much. Okay, pull it tight in a second. You don't want swinging signatures. Right, put that over there so I don't lose it. Let's just double check before we move on and that's a nice um, thickness I think because you can add there's lots of space to add um, pockets oh I love it love it with the with the lovely mattress ticking and it's all going in the correct direction thank goodness now after that boo-boo and there's plenty of pages okay and that's ready now my next thing is I need to glue this on so I'll put my PVA glue there. I'm going to have a bit over here and that's going to glue on there. So should we do that now? Um, so I'll put it on there. And I will smudge, smudge it about in a second. And then I'm going to put it on here. And then I'll flip it over and put glue on the other side. We in focus because we had focus issues yesterday. Oh, but I might not be posting this video. Today is Thursday, but I think I'm going to post this video on Saturday. Or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. Make sure I've got enough glue there. Okay, then I'm going to grab this and just spread it. Because you don't want big chunks of glue oozing through your fabric, especially because that's a linen. It's not that thick. I'm glad I chose the, um, the grey because it's literally just blending into the cardboard colour, which is fantastic. 
try to minimize our air pockets. Okay, let's see how we're going. I might need to put a bit more because I wanted to see a bit of the embroidery on this side. So it's gonna, I may need to run some more glue underneath and I might decide to come back with some lace, but I haven't, I haven't made that decision yet. Because sometimes I'll st start it. If it's not like something that needs to pop under um, the fabric, I can decide to put something else on afterwards. Okay, let's take that off. And I do need to run a little bit of glue under there. Although I could leave it, and, oh, I might leave it and see if I want to slide a lace under there. Okay, I'm using PVA glue. A lot of you I know use Fabri-Tac. Um, PVA is, is just as good. It just takes longer to dry. It's not as fast drying. Um, and it's also non-toxic, which is really good. Um, and PVA glue, as most of you know, uh, does glue. Um, it does glue down many materials. Not Someone asked me, did it just glue, didn't it just glue wood? No. PVA, if you read um, quite often on the bottles, maybe not all the bottles, but most of the bottles say um, thing, it glues fabric, it glues wood, um, paper, like a multitude of uh, materials it glues. And I, I've tried, you know, once I've, I've made a boo-boo and I've tried to tear it off and I literally pulled everything off. So that's how strong it was. And I find this Paytex one particularly strong. Now, I would have loved that on the front, but then I would have had it upside down. So that's why I put it on the back. Can you imagine? I might have glued this upside down. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, I may need to slide some more glue under there. I can do that afterwards. I just wanted to give you the idea of how I was going to put this together. So that's what that spine looks like. Um, and then inside, now I've done it the right way. That is, the book is put together now. It needs to be completed, but it has been put together. So um, that will be the same job with this one. I think I've already measured that side. I haven't measured my signatures yet, but I'll be doing the same thing. I've already glued down my lace on the front. I put that one aside and I was going to do um, another one somewhere. Wait, there's five. One, two. Oh, here's the other one. I just wanted to show you what I chose. This one, oh, no, actually it's three. This one the, um, I've measured, but the, um, clean that and move the glue out of the way. This one, I'm going to stitch my signatures directly into my spine. Okay, so you're going to be able to see it. So I'm going to choose a colour that I, I like the blue, but do I have any more blue? I think that's going to be enough. I don't think I have any more blue. That's a blacky colour. That colour's nice. That's a dark grey. I've got that dark grey there. That's that one. Um, I might use the blue. Or I could use that sort of colour on there, the golden colour. Not that colour. Oh, haven't had that colour before. Anyway, I think I'll use um, the blue. This colour, but I'm not going to bind this one with you guys. I'll just punch the holes so you can see. So you're going to be able to see the holes through the fabric on the other side and you'll be able to see the stitching. This might be a case where I need to bring out my book all as well because I'm going through very thick fabric. And there 
There's all the little dots flying out of my thing. Oh, I can see through those. Where's the book all? Got that one out. Just got all the little things out because sometimes it might hinder your progress. Yes. Oh, and this um, plaid that I put on this check, it's um, 1890s. Linen, German linen. I had quite a big piece of it, and that's a little piece. That sometimes I put it in my paper, my fabric packs. Okay. Um, there it is poke these through, make sure, yep, they went through, yep, okay, and so then I'll measure the same, I think I did two and a half on this one as well, most of the spines that I did are um, one and a half inches, so I'll just put that one aside, I'm going to, I'll do that one off camera, it's just the same pamphlet hole stitch right through the thing, I wanted to show this one. So this one, again, I did the, um, the mattress ticking. I haven't measured this because I wanted to show you. I've got another one down there that I've already measured. Um, and we're going to glue that in there. So we'll put this aside. So this is a one method of doing a hidden spine. There are multiple methods. So I, first of all, I need to find it's four centimeters. I did most of them the same. So I use my pen. Here I can I can draw my line to so I can draw a line down there. Hopefully I'll be straight. Yep, doesn't look too bad. And then I'm gonna do I do half an inch on either side. Yes. So I've got plenty of space. So I'll just eyeball it and draw that down there. So anyone who's been following me for a while, you will have seen these methods. Now I've got to find my center. How big is that? Oh, I can't do inches. Didn't grow up with them. 24, oh, easy peasy, 12. Just eyeballing it. Probably shouldn't, but I do. And then I need two and a half. If it were a much smaller book, I'd do two. But I think two and a half is going to be better on this one. And two and a half. I will measure these. It's got my line, so it makes it easy. There and there. So now we've got to punch our holes. The hands hurt. They're dry because it's cold. And they hurt from pulling the um obviously you do this on the reverse side so that you can do all your markings and make your boo-boos. And when you put them in your journal, they will be hidden. I'm just gonna poke out the little circly things so don't, don't get too banked up with those. Now these don't last forever, these things, you know, they'll last a while, but with using them a lot, they do fall apart eventually. Good thing they're not overly expensive. So 
so just look for a Japanese screw punch on Amazon. And stay away from the really super cheap ones because I had a really super cheap one and that one really did fall apart very quickly. Didn't cope. This one's a better quality one. Okay. Got my holes there. Have a little rest because my arm's going to fall off. My hand hurts from pulling the threads. Now, let's find the centre here. What did I put in the centre? That's the question. Where is it? Here. This is the centre. Oh, love them. Okay, measuring. So this is pretty much the height of the book. Which I don't worry about that stuff. If it's the height of the book, then I'm happy. But I don't care. I'm happy about that. Okay. You don't have to work so hard on this because it's just paper. Yep. The light is shining through. Next. Center. Well, the lady that lives in the apartment in front of us, she is walking around the garden and she's been doing it since before I turned my video in her pyjamas, in the snow. She's obviously not feeling the cold. This one's slightly smaller. Oh, well, I think I prefer, I'll do nine inches. So four and a half. Seven. Okay. Yes, yeah, she'll be feeling a little bit chillsome. Yes, yeah, so I did slip and slide all the way to the to the post office because I, I forgot about that. I was talking about that. I think I might have realised then I had my thing upside down. Um, yes, I did slip and slide, and because I had my Adidas shoes on. Um, with no track on them at all and so I had to walk in the fresh where's my other clip can anybody tell me where did I put my other clip I, or maybe I left it's left in the other book I probably left it in the book where have I put the book um, the book as my granny used to say the book because she was from the north of England Okay, I'm just going to use one of these. I think I've left it in the book. But see, this one won't catch those pages, but I'll just go with it. Okay, let's pretend it's 9.2, so that would be 4.6. Is that correct? Yes. Seven and a half. There was certainly no line today. Oh, it was so funny. My girl at the post office, she's so sweet. She said, you know, I said, I bet you didn't have many people today. And she said, are you kidding me? I had two people here waiting before I even opened. And it was still snowing then. And she said, and you know when their bills expired? In April. She said, in what right of mind do you come out... Um, to go to the post office what am i still oh, getting confused here what in what what frame of mind do you come to the post office when it's snowing to pay a bill that um expires in you know it has to be paid by april and <laughs> people just get really fretful and worry about things i probably use this nice color 
I said, if that were me, I'd be paying my bill. If it expired at the end of April, I'd be paying it in the big first week in, in May because I always forget. So now we're stitching it to this piece of paper and you'll be thinking, oh. No, actually, I'm, and I think I'm going to, no, I'm going to have my knots in the front. I want less bulk at the back. So we'll just go through the normal way. I don't do any dingle dangles from my um, ties, so I always cut them fairly, you know, not short, short, but shortish. Um, because I, I'm not a dingle dangle person. We've had this conversation before. That's on that side, so that one needs to be on that side. Okay, now it's a bit fiddly, more fiddly on this, obviously, because you don't have the weight of the book. Just make sure it's pulled tight. We don't want it flippy floppy. Do double knot just in case. Even though the wax does seem to hold, but I reckon with the weight of the pages, it would eventually loosen. Let's just see. Tight enough, because we're still in time to do it again. Okay, and now we can do the next one. So three different ways of putting my book together. One stitch straight into the book spine, um, and so you the the we haven't I haven't stitched it, but it's just this stitch right through the whole book, and so the stitches are visible on the spine. The other one, the stitches were um, covered up. I so I didn't put my fabric on the spine first. I I stitched in my signatures first, and then glued the fabric over the top, so they were invisible. Kind of, you can see the lumps because it's not a thick fabric, but um, it's still invisible. And then this is actually a what they call a hidden spine. And then there's a floating spine where you you glue down this the fabric, but you ain't but you don't actually glue it to the spine of the book. If that makes sense, we've done that as well another time. But these ones are just having it glued to the spine of the book, and we'll do that always good to see the process if you haven't done it before I was terrified of doing it when I first started doing it and I did make a mess a few times which is very always very disappointing if you've gone through and prepared all your pages and stuff then you, you don't want to mess up when you're putting it together and some people work on their pages before they put them in a book so that would be even worse I work on my pages afterwards because I like to work on them and because I have a feel for the book. Or the journal, I should be saying. I have a f yeah, I just have a feel about it when it's all in there, tied in, secured. And then I just like to flip through and, and just do whatever takes my fancy. And I will need to just check. Yes, that's nice and tight. No wobbly pages. Oh, getting a stiff neck from the tension of it all. Okay. Itchy eye. Let's have a look. Let's, before we do anything else, let's just double check. So look, you've got a thing like this, and it's just attached to all your pages. So just make sure it's all okay. Yep, 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 all good. Because once it's glued in, you're not going to be fixing it. Okay. I think I'm going to remove this mat now because that's just wiggling all over the place. Move those out of the way. Um, and we're going to glue this in. So we need a lot of glue. A lot. A lot, a lot. So first of all, I'm going to put my glue on the spine. Because it's like our house is not cold. It only has a few moments in the day, maybe where the heating's sort of... Um, in a lull sort of thing because it's on you know it's all programmed um, but the the um, the glue tends to be I'm going to put some down on here as well um, quite you know it's not as runny it's a bit like honey put some down there I don't know quite how wide I need to go I know I definitely am going over the tape part
I need lots of glue because it needs to stick. Okay, so I'm going to get the glue and I'm going to smush this around first. Get it in there. I might need more glue. We'll just see how we go. Now this one's slightly different to the floating spine because the floating spine you glue down just the fabric. Um, so this, the, it's hollow here. It's not actually glued. And, um, and so you don't close the book until it's dry because otherwise it all crinkles up. Whereas this one, I'm going to glue it and then I'm going to pull, pull up the sides so it puts pressure. And I'll clip it and I'll leave it till tomorrow and it puts pressure on the book to make it um, so, you know, so this all sort of sticks down. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. For good measure, I'm going to put some more glue because you really need a lot of glue. Especially here. Around the edges. Okay, that should be enough. Let's see. I'm going to stand up for this. Oh, that's been casting a shadow. I need to hold these up because I need to see. Now, this is the this is the this is the difficult bit in the sense that you want to put it in. Oh, that going and that I've got more space over on this side, so I want it to come over a bit. see lift these up no that's no good you see I need this to come over here more that's better now that one's not going I might have maybe it's too wide it wasn't before it did fit before okay that's going to be it okay so now so it doesn't drive me mad. I probably needed to cut my thing a bit. I want to just clip these pages together so they're not flopping about like crazy things. I just want to feel here. Yes, that feels good to me. So this is, I'm going to glue this down now. Actually, I might leave it flat. I'm not going to squish it up. I'll squish it up later. But what you need to do is you want it all to be, the pressure to be in the, um, actually I need to separate these for a second. You want to run your fingers down here and make sure it's sticking to the spine. Feels pretty good, so I'm going to clip that back up like this. Then I'm going to grab some maybe regular paper clips. I don't think those ones will fit. Maybe that way, but they would be good. Oh, that's good, because that's putting pressure. Otherwise, you can use regular ones. Oops, really glued that in there. So I think I'm going to leave that to dry, and then I'll jiggle the pages to get them to come up. It'll be a, bit, a little bit stiff, but then I'll, I'll force it. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the ground, and I'm not going to mess with that until it kind of dries. So... My last one is going to be done the same way, this one. And I chose 
this lovely um i've already done that i'm going to have a break from it because my hand saw but i thought i love those colors together so that's going to go in there um i've got to stitch those ones in this one is stitched in is it no i haven't stitched that one in yet that one's just going in the spine i did the other one where's oh here is the other one this is the other one that I've stitched in. So we stitched in two. And look how lovely it just it will sit really well. Really, really nice. Really like that. Um, so all different, different methods. But I do that because it makes them more interesting to me. So I hope you found that useful. And um, I might put a little photograph of the lovely snow at the end of the video. And... Um, Thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend. Bye.